Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to find the value of this uh, given problem that involves uh, nested uh, radicals. As you can see over here, we got uh, square root of 4 plus uh, square root of 4 minus uh, square root of 4 plus uh, square root of 4 minus and goes on and on. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started and let's focus on this uh, expression. And here I have copied it down and let's assume that this uh, radical expression uh, equals to x and we can see that this whole value is going to be greater than 0. So therefore x is going to be positive value. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this part over here. I'm going to label this one equals to y. So therefore y is going to be equal to the square root of 4 minus the square root of 4 plus square root of 4 minus and it goes on and on. And once again we can see that this whole thing is going to be a positive value. So therefore y is going to be greater than 0 as well. And now once again we know that this whole thing is y. So therefore this equation is going to become x equal to square root of 4 plus y. Now let's go ahead and undo this square root by taking a square on this side and square on this side as well. So therefore we got x square equals to the square and square root is gone so we got uh, 4 plus uh, y now let's move this uh, y on the left hand side so therefore our this equation is going to become x square minus uh, y equals to 4 let me go ahead and call this as our equation number one and now let's focus on this part over here y equals to this uh, expression and here we can see that this whole part is x. So therefore this equation is going to become y equal to square root of 4 minus x. Let's go ahead and take a square on both sides to undo this square root. So therefore this square and square root is gone. So we got y square equal to 4 minus x. Let's move this uh, x on the left hand side. So therefore this equation is going to become x plus uh, y square equals to 4. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number 2. And now let's go ahead and compare equations 1 and 2. We can see the right hand sides are same. So therefore we can equate uh, the left hand sides as well. Therefore we can write uh, x square minus uh, y equal to x plus uh, y square. Let's go ahead and move uh, this uh, y square on the left hand side and at the same time I'm going to move this uh, negative y on the right hand side. So therefore we are going to have uh, x square minus uh, y square equal to x plus uh, y. And now let's focus on the left hand side uh, x square minus y square. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a square minus b square could be written as uh, a plus b times a minus b. We are going to apply it on the left hand side. So the left hand side is going to become uh, x plus uh, y times uh, x minus y equals to x uh, plus uh, y on the right hand side. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by x plus y on the left hand side and x plus y on the right hand side as well. And now we know that our x is a positive number greater than 0 likewise y is greater than 0. So that means x plus y is going to be greater than 0. So that means x plus y is not going to be equal to 0. So therefore we can see that we can uh, divide both sides by x uh, plus y. There's uh, no issue whatsoever. 
Now we can see that these x plus y and x plus y they are gone. On the left hand side we got x minus y equals to 1 on the right hand side. And now let's go ahead and move this uh, negative y on the other side. And at the same time I'm going to move this uh, 1 on the other side as well. So therefore we are going to have a y equals to x minus 1. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and substitute this uh, y equals to x minus 1 value in this uh, equation 1. And here's our equation 1. I'm going to replace uh, this uh, y by this uh, x minus 1. So therefore we are going to have uh, x square minus uh, x minus 1 equals to 4. Let's go ahead and uh, distribute this negative sign. So we got x square minus x plus 1 equals to 4. Now let's go ahead and subtract 4 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore we are ended up with the x square minus x minus 3 equal to 0. And now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by using the quadratic uh, formula. And here's our well-known quadratic formula that we'll be using. And now we can see our coefficients uh, a is 1, b is negative 1 and c is uh, negative 3. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula. x uh, equals to minus and b is negative 1 plus or minus square root of negative 1 square minus 4 times a is 1 c is negative 3 all over 2 times a is 1. Now let's go ahead and simplify. The x turns out to be 1 positive or negative square root of 13 all over 2. And now let's go ahead and separate these signs positive and negative. So therefore we can write our solutions x equal to 1 plus square root of 13 divided by 2. And the other solution x equals to 1 minus square root of 13 divided by 2. Now let's focus on this uh, solution. The whole numerator is going to be less than uh, 0. So that means this whole thing is going to be less than uh, 0. And we know that our x is supposed to be greater than 0. So therefore we conclude that this is our invalid solution. So therefore we are going to reject uh, this uh, solution and we are going to accept uh, this uh, solution since this solution is uh, indeed greater than uh, 0 and since our this uh, expression is equal to x and we figured out our x value so thus our x value turns out to be 1 plus square root of 13 divided by 2 and that is approximately equal to 2.3 Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.